Welcome back to another episode of VTTV. Today we have a more of a asked for, I'd say, uh, instructional video versus something that uh, is going to be something that you search for. Um, this is a pretty common thing to run into, especially if you take your computer with you home at the end of the day. You go ahead, you know, you shut your lid, unplug your computer, head out of the office every day, get home, try to power your computer on, and it's just straight up no. Um, and this is pretty much the computer is getting confused on what its power state is, is what's actually going on behind the scenes. And the way to kind of get it out of this loop, if you would, would be the most common thing that us IT people have you do. Turn it off and turn it back on again. But in this case, you have to do it in a little bit of a different manner. And let me show you here on this computer. So this computer, I just shut the lid. The power cord is plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the power cord first off. So USB-C, the barrel jack, the uh, rectangular plug, whatever have you, unplug power from the computer or undock it from your docking stations. After that, depending upon your model, you'll go ahead and flip your laptop upside down. And you're gonna go ahead and look at the bottom where the vents and grills are. There'll be sometimes a small pinhole that behind it it'll have a reset button. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll actually be labeled as having a reset button. And then sometimes, in other cases, you'll have other laptops that have the reset button on the side of the machine versus on the bottom. So keep that in mind. This one has a little uh, loop-de-loop -loop here, if you would, to kind of uh, signify that it's a reset button. But that's kind of what that looks like there. But keep in mind, it can be on any any side of the laptop, if you would. So, so uh, common is going to be on the sides or on the bottom. This one, it is right here on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and get a straightened out paper clip, smallest one you can find, and going to go ahead and insert it into the reset hole. We're going to go ahead and push down until you hear a slight click, and then you're going to wait about maybe 10, 10 or so seconds. Release the paper clip, take it out of the hole. At that point, we can go ahead and power our laptop back up, power cord or docking station. And at that point, you can go ahead and power your system back on. It'll sometimes take a bit to power itself back up after this initial reset's been done, but that's completely normal. Don't be alarmed. It's just doing things in the background like checking hardware, counting RAM, things of that nature. I hope that this uh, video has been helpful for you in uh, getting your computer back up and running if it ever decides to uh, go to sleep and not want to wake up. But uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching.